Today I'm breaking down some new products I just received from The Ordinary. So if you want to find out what I'm adding to my skincare routine, why I'm adding them, and how they might work for you, just keep watching. Welcome back. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything skincare, makeup, and style for the over 50 woman. I'm so glad you're here because we're talking about one of my favorite companies in the skincare industry ever, 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 and it's The Ordinary. I've ordered some new products, not new to them, but new to me, and I'm adding them to my skincare routine, and I thought it would be a really good time to kind of break it down for you why I chose them, what I think they might do for my skin, and how you might be able to use them in your skincare routine. So I'm excited about this video because we're talking about what I think is just one of the best companies out there, The Ordinary. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, just go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below and click that notification bell so that you know the next time there's a video waiting for you to watch. When I first started getting interested in taking care of my skin, which was way, way, way too late in the game, I was a little bit confused. You know, I really wanted some good information about how to get started on a skincare routine, how to pick the products that really were best for my skin that were going to be effective and affordable and easy to use. But the information out there was just pretty sketchy. It all seemed overwhelming and confusing. There was really no place to go to find out you know, how to get started, what do I start with, what's the first product, what can I add on to there. It was a difficult task for me. I thought it would be a good idea today to talk with you about what I've added to my personal skincare routine so that you can understand how I add new products in and why I add new products in and where do I put them in my skincare routine. Just so you know, and in case you're new here, I am 62 years old. I have normal to oily skin, a little bit oily in the T-zone. I haven't done anything to my face. I have no fillers, no Botox, no nothing on my face. My face is just, my skin is just my skin. What happened with me is that I actually was out of the country traveling full-time for two years. This was just about, a, you know, several months ago I just got back. And when I got back, I realized that while I'd only been gone for two years, my face looked like it at age 10. Truly, my face was a surprise to me. And you know, I don't know why I was surprised because I certainly wasn't doing anything to take care of my skin. I was having fun. I was hanging out in the sun. I lived on the Caribbean for four months. I was swimming in the ocean. I wasn't wearing sunscreen. I wasn't taking care of my skin. I was doing all the things they tell you not to do, but I did them anyway because gosh, they were fun. So now I'm hit back here in the States. I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh my heavens, I gotta fix this. So I really did a deep dive into what would be a good skincare routine for my, you know, older mature skin, lots of sun damage, lots of fine lines and wrinkles, lots of uneven texture, and started looking into what I could use that would be A, effective, B, affordable, and C, easy to use. You know, something that I could actually implement into my routine every day and not get overwhelmed or not feel like it was too big of a hassle. So those are the things that I was really looking for in a skincare routine. You know, I, I'm not afraid of getting older. It's, it's, it's better than the alternative. At least I'm here enjoying and having fun but I don't mind looking the best that I can look for my age. Getting good skincare is something that I've really um, added to my life these days. It's something I take care of and do every day, and I'm really glad that I have. While I've been aware of some of the products that are good for your skin, like Retin-A and good moisturizers and good cleansers, I really hadn't put my whole heart into taking care of my skin until I got back from my trip, and I've really done a deep dive into it. So now, <laughs> <laughs> this is what my morning skincare routine looks like. I know, that seems overwhelming, huh? Well, you know, maybe it is. And would I be using all of this if I didn't have a YouTube channel talking about makeup and skincare for the over 50 crowd? You know, the answer is yes. Knowing what I know now, yes, I'd still be doing this. And this is really my morning bucket and my evening bucket looks the same. I keep these in my bathroom. 
And what I've done is that I have lined up the products in order of use. So I start here and I work my way all the way down. And then at the very end, I use my sunscreen, which is there. And this is super easy to do. I mean, if you want to do this yourself, I got this container from the dollar store. And I just lined everything up because you know what? When I'm in the bathroom in the morning after I wash my face, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> and by golly, I can't see to read the labels. So I've just lined everything up so I know just to go to the next bottle. Now, did my skincare routine start out like this? Heavens no. No, it didn't. It started out just by wearing sunscreen. That was the very first thing I did. And then I moved into Retin-A and sunscreen, and then I moved into vitamin E and Retin-A and sunscreen. So it just sort of came a natural, very comfortable progression. And that'll probably be the way it is for you too if you don't have a full skincare routine. So take it easy on yourself. You don't have to jump right in with all these products and feel like you're not doing it right if you're not doing all of this, because you certainly are. The one thing that you really, really, really need is a good sunscreen. And if you've got a good sunscreen and then you wanna start investigating what the next step is, that's a great place to start. The company we're gonna be talking about today is The Ordinary. And if you're not familiar with The Ordinary, you might wanna look into them because they're really they're one of my very, very favorite companies out there. The Ordinary is a subsidiary of the company called Decium, which is a broader makeup and skincare company. And they have a ton of products under the umbrella of Decium. The purpose of The Ordinary was to create a line of clean, effective, very affordable skincare products. And I really look at The Ordinary as the first company who democratized skincare. And what I mean by that is they actually put out skincare at a price that was reasonable and fair for what the ingredients were in the bottle. When I see eye creams or face creams for 80 and $90, I have to say that I roll my eyes a little bit because I'm not so sure that the ingredients in those particular products really warrant that price tag. For me, because I was in the back end of the retail business for so many years, about over three decades, I understand that a price point is a movable object. <laughs> it can be high or it can be low, and it's not necessarily connected to the ingredients within the product that's being sold. There's a lot of hype that goes with it. There's a lot of packaging. There's a lot of promotion. There's a lot of advertising. And all of those additional things need to be covered in the price of that product. When you put out a product that really is representative and priced at a, at a point that's equal to the value of the ingredients in it, I'm just really happy to see that. And The Ordinary has really done that. If you're not familiar with The Ordinary, you can just type in The Ordinary online and pop up and you'll see it's just a very clean, very effective skincare line. So I recently received my latest order from The Ordinary and I'm gonna go through the products one by one, tell you why I use them, how they fit into my skincare, and you know you can decide if it might be a good fit for you as well. The first product I wanna talk about today is the Lactic Acid and Hyaluronic Acid and this is a 5% solution. I have actually been using this for quite a while and let me go ahead and read to you what The Ordinary says about this product on their website. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that exfoliates the skin. This is a 5% solution formulation, offers a very mild exfoliation, and is supported with purified Tasmanian pepperberry, known to reduce the signs of inflammation and sensitivity that is often associated with exfoliation. They also offer a stronger 10%, but I'm really happy with the 5%. I fell in love with this product even more after I ran out because it became very, very clear to me why I loved it so much. I have oily T-zone and when I was younger I had acne and I've always had blackheads on my nose and on my chin. And if you don't have blackheads, this won't apply to you, but if you do have blackheads, you might understand what I'm talking about. When I'm not using this lactic acid formula, those blackheads will grow up and out of my skin so I can, I can feel them. It's like almost a little fur on my face from the oil of my skin. And it's not a good feeling and it doesn't look good either. It's almost like, uh, you know, grass growing out of the, the weeds, only it's growing out of my skin. When I use this lactic acid, it doesn't do that. It really keeps my face mildly exfoliated. The hyaluronic acid that it's suspended in helps to moisturize my face. 
and it really keeps my face looking a lot cleaner, a lot fresher, and a lot brighter. This lactic acid comes in a bottle, it's 30 ml, and retails for $6.50. So you can see what a tremendous value the products are from the ordinary. Now this bottle of lactic acid, you know, I haven't actually, you know, clocked it as far as how long it lasts, but my guess is that this is gonna last me about two months. So it comes in a stopper formulation. I just pull it out. I put five drops into my hand. I rub my hands together and I just pat it over my face. This is the lactic acid 5% solution with hyaluronic acid. Love this stuff. The next product I wanna talk about is new to me. I haven't used this before and actually I heard about it from Mary over at Glitzy Fritzy. If you're not familiar with her beauty channel, go check her out. She's absolutely fabulous. She is so knowledgeable about makeup and skincare and such a delight to watch. She's like actually watching your favorite neighbor do a beauty video. And here's a little tip from me to you, and you're gonna thank me for this. Make sure you watch to the very end and then watch what happens after her videos. It's just hysterical and you'll always be hooked on that. You'll always do that after you watch her videos. So head on over there and give her some loving. Uh, she's wonderful and her channel is terrific. I was watching her and she was talking about the Ordinary Niacinamide Solution right here. And by golly, when she started talking about the Ordinary and said she loved it, my ears perked up and I just added that right into my order. This is new to me, but Mary suggested it and when it comes from her, I really do listen. This is what the Ordinary has to say about this Niacinamide. Niacinamide Vitamin B3 is indicated to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. It's a high 10% concentrate of the vitamin. It's supported by the formula by zinc salt of something I can't pronounce, something something acid to balance the visible aspects of sebum activity. What Mary said, and I think the English version of that is, is that it makes her pores disappear. I heard that and I thought, I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all in for that. So I've just now added this to my skincare routine. And then you might say, okay, you've got that whole list, you know, you've got that whole rack of bottles that you use. How do you use them? Well, I added this in right after my lactic acid. So I go from my vitamin C to my lactic acid to the niacinamide and then on down the line. And in general, you want to start with the lighter serums and go on to the most occlusive. So non-occlusive to occlusive. So that's kind of how I'm adding it in to my skincare routine. I'm really excited to watch the effects of this new product. Mary loves it, I think I'm gonna love it too. And here, listen to this. This is a 30 ml bottle. This will probably last me again a couple of months and it retails for $5.90. I mean, come on, this company is amazing. The products are so, so good. Niacinamide, I'm excited to see uh, the, my pores disappear over the next coming weeks. Doesn't that sound like fun? The next product is Matrixel. This is a reorder for me. I've actually been using this for a while. I ran out, wanted to get some more. The Matrixel is kind of like a new fan favorite. It's the new darling of the skincare industry. So let's read what The Ordinary has to say about the Matrixel. It says, Matrixel is a trademark peptide composition developed by Sidera in France. The highly effective composition has been shown to reduce the look of static and dynamic wrinkles, we love that part, don't we? We like that wrinkles to reduce the look of. That's our favorite words right there. This formula contains two generations of Matrixel, Matrixel 3000 and Matrixel Sin 6, at a combined concentration of 10% by weight in a specialized hyaluronic acid delivery system. Now, hyaluronic acid, you might know this from my skincare video, that is a acid, it's not a burning type acid, it's a different type of acid that holds a thousand times its weight in moisture. When you put that on the skin, it actually attracts moisture from the air around you and <laughs> plumps up your skin. So we like hyaluronic acid in our products. The peptide in Matrixel 3000 is a polymoto something, something, can't pronounce it, sorry guys. So those are just long words for the rest of it. What I've heard in you know the skincare community about this is that it really does an effective job on helping that crepey skin on your neck. And I'm all for that because heaven knows I've got that. When I use this in the morning, again, I'll take the stopper out, I'll put five drops on my hand, pat my hands together, put it on my face, and then all down my neck. And sometimes if I'm feeling particularly frisky, I'll put a couple more drops on my hand 
pat it together and put that extra on my neck because I really want something on that less than taut skin on my neck to help it out. This is the Matrixel from The Ordinary. Let's look at the pricing right here. This is a 30 ml bottle and it retails for $11.50. <laughs> How wonderful is that you guys? Come on. So if you're looking at a $90 neck cream, why don't you give this a try first? I think, I think you might be happy with this. The next product I want to talk about is Squalane Oil, which I got right here. And I know that you probably know that oils are really having their moment in the skincare industry. You know, oils are so popular right now. They, there's so many out there. There's rosehip oil and squalane oil and, you know, different types of oils. I'm not so sure that the research really backs up all the claims that the manufacturers are making about these particular oils. I think as far as skincare goes, this is probably, oils would probably be down on my list as far as where to spend my money to really get the most bang for my buck. But the reason I ordered this particular squalane oil, and this is 100% plant-based squalane, is I use this in the morning when I do my facial massage. I thought, oh, that sounds lovely to add in with my coconut oil. I do a facial massage every single morning and truly, I think it's one of the best things I do for my skin, products included. There's something about getting that um, blood flowing and getting that lymphatic system really moving that has just done wonders for my skin. What I've done is that I've added this in to my skincare routine for my facial massage in the morning and I'll take the dropper out. Again, it comes in a little dropper bottle and I'll just put a few drops on my hands, rub them together and then rub it over my face and then I'll add my coconut oil and then that's how I do my facial massage. And I think that there's just something nice. It was mostly just something that felt good to me to do to add the squalane to my facial massage. It just sounded a little luxurious and a little, I don't know, pampering. I'm really liking it so far. I've just been using it about a week and a half and I can say that it seems to really get some hydration and some mm, plumpness to my skin. This product from The Ordinary, this is a 30 ml bottle again. I imagine it's gonna last me a couple of months and it retails for $7.90. So I think that's a pretty affordable price for what I kind of say consider a little bit of pampering. The last product I'd like to talk about is the AHA BHA Peeling Solution. I actually love this product. This is again is from The Ordinary. That's what we're talking about today. And this is the most brightening, smoothing, revitalizing peeling solution I've ever tried. It's absolutely amazing. This AHA BHA solution is so effective and it has such a wonderful effect on my skin. Let's see what The Ordinary has to say about it. It says with the 30% alpha hydroxy acid, glycolic, lactic, tartaric and citric, 2% beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, cross polymer, vitamin B5, black carrot, and Tasmanian pepperberry. Alpha hydroxy acids exfoliate the skin topmost surface for a brighter and more even appearance. And boy, I can absolutely attest to that. Brighter, brighter skin. Beta hydroxy acids also exfoliate the skin with an extended function to help clear pore congestion. This does so much to just really clean my skin off. It's amazing. It's a very bright red color. You can see it right here. And what I'll do is I just take the dropper with a, on a clean face and I'll just add a little bit around my face and smooth it out with my fingers and let it sit on my skin for about eight minutes. Now, does it burn a little bit? For me, it does. Some people, it doesn't burn at all. My skin, yeah, it burns a little bit. And I generally will just fan myself or, you know, do something to distract myself so I'm not really feeling it. And then I simply go in and just wash my face off with cool water and then wash with my regular cleanser. And then I really, really moisturize at night. I use my CeraVe Night Moisturizing Cream. And then I also have another organic night cream that a girlfriend of mine makes that's wonderful and I'll put that on top of it. So this solution is absolutely so worth it and you know I see other peels out there that are 
50, 60, 80, 90 or more dollars. And it's just, in my opinion, my humble opinion, not necessary. This is a wonderful product, very, very effective. This is, again, 30 mLs. I think this will probably last me, gosh, by the looks of it, maybe four or five months. I had this a few months already, and you can see I've hardly used any at all. This retails for $7.20. By golly, if you're looking for a skin brightener, I can really, really recommend this. And the the effects of this are just really, truly significant. I think you'll see a big difference. Well, that's my little trip through my new order from The Ordinary. I hope it was helpful for you. I know that skincare can really seem overwhelming. It, it seemed overwhelming to me in the beginning. I just thought, I don't understand this. I don't understand why you're using it, where I use it, when I add it, or the other thing. So I hope that this information is helpful for you and it helps you understand a little bit. You don't have to start out with a very complicated multi-step skincare routine. Just take it one step at a time. And before you know it, you'll become more familiar with the products and you'll be adding maybe a little bit here and maybe a little bit there, or you'll notice something that you, you know, want to have an impact on. So you get a product to treat that particular thing. Just take your skincare easy, easy, step by step. Don't be overwhelmed. And remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money on skincare. There are companies like The Ordinary and Timeless and The Inky List and More Molecules. All of those are companies that are really jumping on the train of democratizing good, effective, affordable skincare and bringing it out so that we all can afford to treat our skin the very, very best way we can. Thank you so much for stopping by today. It just really tickles me when you take time out of your day to spend it with me. If you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, go ahead and just click that red subscribe button down below and click that notification bell so you get a heads up when there's something new for you to watch. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 51. Make it a great day. Have a great week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.